Hello dear friends, English grammar is not about theory only. You must remember that English grammar is all about techniques. Yes, so technical aspects of English grammar is very much essential. That's why in Shiksha Mantra would learn English grammar not as theory but very clearly with its technical aspects and today we have something a topic that is uh, very much uh, ignored as I feel and the topic is about nouns yes dear friends it's countable and uncountable nouns or rather as you say it's count and non-count nouns yes dear friends most of the time I feel that this chapter is very much important we must learn it very keenly but most of the time this chapter is ignored as considering it to be a very simple one that's why in many different parts of english grammar in many other aspects of english grammar we find it very difficult to cope up with them so here i have decided that today we'd learn countable and non-countable nouns so let's begin so countable nouns and uncountable nouns yes dear friends it's very simple if i ask you what is countable nouns or what are count nouns you'd say the nouns that we can count is countable and what is uncountable it obviously be just the opposite of what we consider as countable that means those nouns which we cannot count are considered as uncountable nouns that's it and when you are asked for what for some example what you do so for an example you would say pen yes dear friend if we consider this pen it's countable we can count one pen two pens three pens and also this one eraser you can say one eraser two erasers three erasers or more so we can count them that's why we consider them as count nouns or countable nouns and now if i consider sugar we can't count this if we consider salt we can't count this if we consider water we can't count this that's why they are considered as uncountable nouns that's it so what else is there to learn about this simple thing about this very simple chapter of english grammar countable and uncountable but i tell you no dear friends this is not like this there are many other things which produce confusion whether you can count them or not whether they are countable or uncountable those who actually learn these uh, grammar chapters very seriously they would find that obviously sometimes they create confusion so here in shiksha mantra in this session we are going to learn countable and uncountable technically so that there won't be any confusion anymore so we are to wear off what confusion so don't create confusion when you are learning rather the sole aim of your learning must be to yes what of confusion so let's learn how to do it you have already learned types of nouns now if i consider the first one of them what's this this is obviously common nouns and remember dear friends most common nouns almost all the common nouns are treated as countable so if we say pen this is a common noun and this is countable now if i say sugar this is also common noun salt is this common noun no they aren't so most of the time a common noun is treated as countable and then comes proper nouns yes dear friends proper nouns they are you must remember always uncountable but sometimes it happens that proper nouns may also be used as countable nouns why why i'm saying sure 
for this i would uh, tell you something that you must remember for construction when you construct a sentence with a uncountable noun obviously you can't put a an etc so when you use a proper noun do you use an article with it you don't why because this is uncountable nouns and then comes how it can be used as countable nouns yes dear friends if you say shakespeare that's obviously what that's a proper noun now if you say kalidash is considered as the shakespeare of india the shakespeare of india here you are considering not as a proper noun you are using the with it yes dear friends in many occasions accountable nouns can be used as an uncountable noun and an uncountable noun can be used as countable noun so it's all about considerations so here we will discuss in detail how our considerations would help us to get whether the noun is countable or uncountable so we have already discussed about common nouns and proper nouns then comes material nouns yes dear friends for material nouns it's very difficult to find out whether it is countable or uncountable so let's me show you something and after this i'm sure that you won't get confused with this sorts of nouns yes dear friends what's this this is an eraser you can uh, say it yes this is an eraser so this is a countable noun but what this eraser is uh, made of can you tell me yes this is made of rubber yes dear friends so rubber is the material noun and you can count eraser but can you count rubber in it is it possible that you can count the rubber in this eraser you can't because the rubber is the material noun that's why a material noun cannot be countable a material noun is always uncountable so that's it that's how very simply you can learn them yes dear friends there comes some other points i'll discuss them one after another and when i'll conclude obviously there won't be any confusion regarding countable and uncountable nouns so let's check out what's there when we consider a mass it is always uncountable how it is if i say walk this is a mass that's why this is uncountable because you can't count a mass you can measure it so whatever we can measure is obviously uncountable we can't count them we can't count a mass that's why this is uncountable so let's learn here some examples like work equipment clothing all these are uncountable and they are considered as a mass so what's our second point our second point is a natural substance yes dear friends all the natural substances like air ice fire water all these are what they are uncountable nouns then comes the third in our list and the third is food food not this is i'm considering food like milk rice meat all these are and you can uh, check the list more are there as well so these are food items and they are always uncountable you can't consider them as countable nouns and this in the fourth yes an abstract concept all the abstract nouns are simply uncountable nouns abstract nouns can't be countable like what yes if we consider it like knowledge knowledge is always uncountable you can't count this this is obviously uncountable noun and abstract noun we have already discussed about abstract nouns and you must remember i have told you na each and every point of english grammar is very much essential and you have to remember each and everything because in some other chapters you would face them so there are the list of abstract like uh, happiness advice time knowledge all these are uncountable nouns then comes our fifth one a game yes dear friends football the ball 
which we play with is what? This is countable, but the game itself, football, is uncountable. But sometimes we say football match, football matches. So football, the name of the game is uncountable, but football matches, when they are conjugated with match, it becomes countable. That's why I've told you sometimes countable becomes uncountable and uncountable becomes countable. So it's very essential to track them to find out whether this is used like a countable or like non-count. So your consideration is very much essential when you consider them as a game. It's obviously uncountable, but when you consider them as a match, it's countable. Then our sixth consideration and that is a disease. Yes, dear friends, a disease like cholera, malaria, influenza. They are all uncountable nouns. And in this situations, why don't we say COVID-19? All the diseases are uncountable. And now, what's this? Our seventh consideration. And the seventh consideration is a subject of study. Yes, dear friends, a subject of study is always uncountable. Like what? Like mathematics, physics, statistics, and uh, economics, all these and many other. Whenever you consider it as a subject of study, this is uncountable. And then comes the eighth one. Yes, this is very much, very much, very, very much exciting. Do you want to learn it? Yes, this is nothing but what we are doing with language. Yes, dear friends, language is also uncountable. You can't consider a language as countable noun. Yes, language like what? Bengali, Hindi, English, French, Arabic. You can't consider these nouns. They are countable. No, you can't consider them. Rather, you must consider these nouns, these languages as uncountable. And then comes the last one of this list sometimes with a verb we add ing like this play playing so when you add ing you must remember that it would become uncountable and not countable how like uh, i like working i like walking i like playing i like running, I like racing, I like fighting, I like learning. So all these verbs when they are added with ing, obviously they are going to be used as uncountable nouns. So dear friends, I've told you now when we have completed this, obviously you'd find out that countable and uncountable is all about technique you just remember all these points and where would you get it? Obviously, you can write them down from this video and also visit my telegram channel. You would find the link in the description below and there you would find the PDF for all whatever I've told here. And I'm sure that after learning them, you don't have any confusion regarding countable and uncountable nouns. And dear friends, believe me, it's really very essential. You must learn it. Without this, you are going to find it very difficult where in subject verb conjugation, there you'd find it very tough to manage. That's why learn it, learn more, be what? Yes, be an English dude. So that's all champs would meet very soon with another fresh video. Until then, Bye-bye.